Today's been a busy day. Yesterday call volume was increased a lot. We had a lot of rain in the area here for a leak back in this section. It's pretty obvious that vent stack is missing a cap on the top and the flange just flipped up right over the leak. That's the issue there. But I happen to notice this on the way back and I just want to show that the right type of material makes a big difference on quality of install. Yes, these nails are out too far. They're exposed. You shouldn't see them. They should be back into that ridge cap, kind of out of sight. But they are inch and a quarter coil nails. So they're not even penetrating into the wood. Barely poking it. That's not going to hold. As you can tell, it's loose. Just the quality of it. That one's barely hitting, but it's not into the wood. It's through the shingles. It's like it's in other areas. So the point being, roofers, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, in and out can't even pay attention they might need a little bit larger nail for ridge cap because you have the additional profile of the ridge vent the ridge cap on top inch and a quarter coil nails are not going to penetrate down to the wood therefore not holding the ridge cap down luckily this hasn't blown off yet but still not good bad install bad choice of nails if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing until next time be safe and see you in the next one i gotta get